Hello everyone and welcome back to Fashion Sundays, the best way to end the week and start another. Our guest today is the author of over 100 books and sold over 26 million copies, the legendary John Maxwell. John, what an honor to have you here it's on the show. It's my honor to be with you. Very Thank excited you, about what you do. I'm excited. I mean, I heard you earlier talk about passion and purpose. Yes. And I want to ask you, how important is passion and purpose in life? Well, I, I call passion uh, the great energizer. You, you show me a person that has passion, I'll show you a person that has energy. You show me a person that lacks passion, and I'll show you a person that lacks energy. In, in the States, we call them like high energy people. Well, that's a high energy person, or that's a low energy person. And I said, no, no, that's a person with passion. They've got energy. That's a person without passion. They don't have it. And so the moment we understand that passion is the fuel, it energizes us to accomplish what we want to, then it's now the issue of what do you want to accomplish and how much fuel do you have? If you don't have very much fuel in your tank, you may have some really fine goals, but it's never gonna be achieved without that passion that burns within you. So how do people find that passion? I mean, you found your passion, you're helping people, you're helping yes. the world, but you shared a beautiful story earlier. Yeah, well, I, the, first of all, I think you find your passion by asking, uh, uh, two questions in that one is what is my giftedness? What am I good at? Uh, it, it's, it really doesn't do me a lot of good to be passionate about something I'm not good at. Uh, you know, the good news is I'm on fire. The bad news, nothing's catching. And, and, and <laughs> like so, that. so it, what, what am I gifted at? And then the, the second thing is, is have I really discovered what my purpose is? Why am I here? And you know, uh, two great days in a person's life, the day they were born, the day they discovered why. When you discover the why, I call passion a lot of times the why of life, you know. It's, it, in fact, I say when you find your why, uh, you, you, then, then you'll learn the how. I mean, once I know why I'm here, I'm gonna figure out how to accomplish that. And, and I'll, figure, uh, I'll figure out uh, what I'm going to do. But if I don't have that passion, there's not the energy that drives me to, to discover the how. Mm -hmm. There's not that energy that allows me to, uh, 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 to finish the task when, when I need to finish it. I love all this talk and it's very beautiful and always great to say be passionate and it's all great and everything works out for you. But when people look at you say, okay, well, he's already successful. He's been doing great. And it's easy to be passionate when you're doing great. How do you find passion when times are tough? Oh, you know, first of all, people ask me, they'll say, well, John, you must be really uh, excited because, I mean, you, you sold a lot of books and, and things. And, and I said, let me explain something to you. I was as excited when I started without anything at all as I am now. And uh, what I've learned a long time ago was the fact that if, if you don't have passion without something, you won't have passion with something. I love that. If you don't have passion without something, you won't have passion with something. Absolutely, but if you have passion without something, you'll have the energy to get what you want. And so what, what I, it's, it's not an issue. My passion isn't fueled by what I've done. My passion is fueled what I do. And there's a difference between those two things. I love that. My and passion is not fueled by what I've done, it's by what I'm doing. That's exactly right. So right. If, I, if I don't love what I'm doing now, there's no hope for me. There's no, uh, it, so I don't even try to motivate people. People say, well, how do you motivate your people? I, I, you know, I say, I, I hire motivated people. It's very simple. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not trying to get somebody on the team and then motivate them. I'm trying to find somebody that's motivated and get them on my team. It's, you know, it's like an attitude. How do you find people with good attitude? Well, you hire them. <laughs> if they have a good attitude, hire them. If they don't have a good attitude, attitude don't hire them because a lot of things in life are a choice and uh, no matter who you, you work for or what you do you've got to make the choices that are going to make the difference in your it's life amazing. Make uh, it. I, in fact I love this statement there uh, John Wooden my mentor taught me this is there's a choice you have to make in everything you do so keep in mind that in the end the choice you make makes you I love that. And that the choice you make makes you. It, it does. In, in passion, it does in all these areas. I love it. What an amazing way to conclude. The choices you make make you. Make Absolutely. You. So I, I determine. You get determined. You get determined uh, those choices that you make within your own life. I love that. Passion. passion. What do you think? I would really love to hear your opinion. If you found this episode as useful as I did, leave your comments on the blog below and do share it with somebody that will benefit. And if you would like more tools, tips, techniques, and exclusive interviews that I only share on my website, go to mustafa.com. And until next episode, live passionately.